So I've always wanted to write a book. And to be quite honest, I've been writing this book on and off for a very long time. I don't know how many times I've, for years, been writing and deleting and throwing away. It's read through the book, all of it, okay. word for word. Take your time and say, I think here yeah, there was supposed to be a coma. You see, you want people to share with people what their experience was with Maureen. I called it Queen on Wheels, um, Ascending the Throne of Life. So the book is a, a bit about my life, about who Maureen is and where she came from to where she is now. So it answers a lot of the questions that people ask me about. How did you do it? How do you do it? Or why are you so confident? Hey, well. you said you want to write two sisters and one what? <laughs> so I was born with a genetic disorder called osteogenesis imperfecta, which is brittle bones. Um, so, you know, my bones are not strong enough to, to carry me. I don't have enough calcium in my bones. So I guess growing up with that, <laughs> um, I had to really get used to life. I'm very fond of what family is and what it's about and what it represents. The resilience is something that has always inspired me and um, the resilience to say that you want to do something and go for it and tackle it no matter what. And yes, I'm sure she has come across challenges and more things that she has wanted to do, but it's never stopped her. Maureen, she, she, like, she's the person that likes to write and all that kind of thing. She'll keep talking about the book and then came to a point where we're like, ah, oh, this one, she's not gonna write a book. <laughs> Until one day she came back, it was when? Last year? This year, ne? It was this year. Yes, and then she showed us a cover of a book. Mm -hmm. I've realized that, you know what, my little sister, she's grown up now. As a disabled woman myself, um, I find it uh, challenging as well in terms of not only do I now have to fight the fight of being taken seriously as a woman but I also have to fight the fact that I need to prove myself 10 times more that I can actually do what other women can do. I see myself as the same as everybody else. Um, yeah sure my disability might be the one thing that makes me look different but other than that I don't think there's anything different about me.